I actually can't believe how many signed books I actually own. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I thought it would be fun to show you my bookshelves. I'm not going to show you all my books because that video will just be way too long but I'll highlight the books that I think you'll find the most interesting. But first, thank you so much to my patrons. I really really appreciate it. Now, let's get back to the video. Alright, let's take a look at my shelves. First up we have my Robin Hobb collection or The Realms of the Elderlings. I love these spines so much, they're so beautiful and the cover art is also so classic, I just love it so much. If you're interested in checking out the series then I would recommend starting with the Farsi trilogy, starting with Assassin's Apprentice. My next shelf is just a lot of random books, we have some Daniel Green, Josiah Bancroft, Arif Kuang, John Gwynn, Daniel T. Jackson with Iltborn, <laughs> such a chunky book. We have Emmy Carrick and also some ARCs and Scott Lynch at the end. Starting with Daniel Green, my copy of Bridge of Peace has a signed book plate in it and also my copy of Rebel's Creed. My copy of Sendin Ascents is from The Broken Binding and also has a signed book plate and even a quote from the author himself. Then we have Of Blood and Bone by John Gwynn. I bought this from The Broken Binding as well and all of three of them are signed. Then we have this copy of The Mask of Mirrors by Emma Carrick. Fun story about this one, I found this in a charity shop and there was a signed book plate in it. How cool is that? I also have an arc of Mickey 7 I think this is a really cool arc copy and I really enjoyed this one. And then I also have an arc of Under Fortune Stars. I love this cover as well. Then on top of my books I have two art cards which I received since I pre-ordered uh, Of Darkness and Light by Ryan Cahill. I think the art for this series is so so beautiful. Then we come to probably one of my favorite shelves, if not my favorite, full of hardbacks and I think all of these are actually signed. Let's take a closer look at some of these books, shall we? First up we have The Hunger of the Gods, one of my favorite covers and this one is a first edition and this is also signed by John Gwynn. If you haven't read this book or the series then it's worth checking out, it's fantastic. Then I have The Faithful and the Fallen, the reprint from The Broken Binding with special sprayed edges and this one is also signed and numbered by John Gwynn. I got number 15 which is really really cool. Also from The Broken Binding I ordered these beautiful books but the best part is the edges. Alright these are probably the best edges I have on any of the books, these are absolutely incredible. Both of these books are also signed and numbered by AKLR Quote. If you've seen my recent vlog then you know that I got all my popular trilogy books signed by RF Kuang which is just awesome. Project Hail Mary was one of my favorite reads last year and I'm so happy to have a signed first edition of this incredible book, definitely worth checking out. Also one of the most beautiful books I own is this Illuminate edition of She Who Became the Sun. Look at those edges. This one also has a signed book plate in it which is great. Empire of the Vampire, I don't have an extremely fancy edition of this one but this is signed by Jay Kristoff which is also really really cool. Love that cover art as well. On to the next shelf, so this shelf is also full of hardbacks and a lot of signed books so let's take a closer look at these ones as well shall we? I was able to find the signed copy of the Ember Blade for only £10 on Depop, still haven't read this one though. Then we have the Goldsberry edition of Sister Song by Lucy Holland with these beautiful edges. This one is also signed and numbered. I also have the first three book in the Bound and Broken series by Ryan Cahill which are signed and numbered so there are only 50 copies of these ones. And here you can see the signature and the number, I got number 31. Also look at the cover art. I was really fortunate to win these three books from Virginia McLean. These three are all signed which is really really cool and personalized but the best part of these books is the naked hardbacks. Just look at the art on that naked hardback, that is absolutely stunning. I also have a signed copy of The Bands of Mourning by Brandon Sanderson. Man, like Brandon Sanderson has such a weird signature, like what is that? This is the gold spread edition of The Justice of Kings with beautiful spread edges again. I loved this book and I think I gave it 4.5 stars. It's a really really great read. One of the coolest arcs I own is this copy of The Shadow of the Gods. Just look at that dragon. Alright, on to the next shelf. So this shelf is totally dedicated to Brandon Sanderson. So I have some leather bounds, I have the Stormlight Archive with these beautiful dust jackets from Kraken Book, and in between here we have some bookmarks which I received from Kraken Book, which is also really great. On to the next shelf, I have the whole First Law universe in signed hardbacks, which is really really cool. Then we also have a book by Naomi Nowick, Samantha Shannon, and Dune, obviously. Probably my favorite books on the shelf is the first slot trilogy that was reprinted by The Broken Binding with these crazy edges. Then I also have this first edition of Spinning Silver by Naomi Nowick which is also signed which is really cool. This was like a birthday treat to myself when I had my birthday. Then I also have a first edition of The Prior of the Orange Tree. I know it's not in the best shape but look how chunky that is. 
still need to read this one. And then I probably have the most popular Dune edition, which has these beautiful sprayed edges and that iconic cover art. So this shelf is more mixed. I have some Stephen King books, The Red Rising, I have some ARCs, some self-published books, some paperback books. It's all over the place. So here are two ARCs I received from Golans. I love the cover art for both of these. Probably my favorite Neil Gaiman book is The Ocean at the End of the Lane, so obviously I had to get a signed copy of this book. I also have the Impossible Times trilogy by Mike Lawrence. I've only read the first one, which I enjoyed, so I definitely need to continue this series. So these three books are all signed and numbered by Mark Lawrence himself. Then I have the Forbidden Planet edition of The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue with these beautiful edges, and also this edition is signed. I loved this book so much. So this shelf is mostly dedicated to paperbacks. This is double stacked, so I'll show you the back row afterwards. But here we have some Mike Shackle, N.K. Jemison, Joe Abercrombie, Neil Gaiman, Naomi Nowick. Yes, I do have two signed editions of The Ocean at the End of the Lane, but I found this one for only £9, so I couldn't say no. Charles Baldry was really kind enough to send me a personalized and signed copy of Legends and Latte. How cool is that? I also recently met Susanna Wise and I got this copy of This Fragile Earth, which is signed and personalized. At the same event, I also met Joe Abercrombie where I got this copy of A Little Hatred, which is signed and personalized. So here you can see which books are behind the first row of the books on that shelf. It's mostly just a mix of paperbacks and a couple of hardbacks. I apologize for the lighting, but this is my bottom shelf, a mixture of mostly paperbacks, a couple of hardbacks, but yeah, just a lot of random books. This is one of my favorite spines. I love that they make up a pattern. Then we have Blackwing by Ed McDonald, and this is a signed and personal copy since I actually met him a couple of months ago. And then we have the last bottom shelf, and as you can see, this one is also double stacked. Mostly a lot of Sanderson, some Ted Williams, L.L. McRae, and a Ryan Cahill paperback. The Iron Crown is such an underrated book, and I really, really love this one. This one is also signed and personalized. Then we have an arc of Under the Whispering Door by T.J. Clune, which I also enjoyed. I gave this one four stars. Both my copies in the Pillars of Peace series are also signed and personalized. I've actually had three signatures in each of these ones, because whenever I met Tom, I've asked him to sign them again. So as you can see, here's the third signature, and I have two on the first page. And on my bottom shelf, behind all the books, are these books mostly a lot of king books i had the magician which i haven't read have a couple of hardbacks um, jurassic park which i really want to read this year so yeah a lot of random books and now we're in the living room here you can see my wife's books she is an english literature student and she loves classics here's the second shelf in the living room i really apologize i should have cleaned this up firstly but yeah a lot of hardbacks have some really really great additions here of especially the green bone saga which is one of my all-time favorite series and here's a close-up look at the Illuminate editions of the Green Bone Saga. Look at these edges. I love these edges so much. I'm so happy to have a full sign set of one of my all-time favorite series. Then we had the 10th anniversary edition of Mistborn, which my wife kindly gave to me as a Christmas present a couple of years ago. I love these covers so much. I have this random signed copy of The Veil Throne, which I found for only £5 on the Forbidden Planet website. And then this book, which I know nothing about, but I bought it for only £1 and it's signed and numbered. How crazy is that? The third shelf is even more of a mess, but I have a couple of fancy books here, some classics, some Far East books, some poems from my wife. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> So these are some of my favorite books that I own, but especially my copy of Master of Sorrows, which Justin Cole kindly sent to me. He left loads of personalized message. He spilled ink on the page, as you can see here. You here you have two different signatures. He even drew a map in it. So it's a really, really cool edition. I bought Master Artifice from the Broken Binding, which included a letter from Justin Cole himself. And this one has a signed book plate in it. Then my fourth shelf is mostly also filled with classics. These are mostly my wife's books, except for Dracula, as you can see in the middle there, which I've read and loved and you have the Hobbit at the end as well. And then at the bottom shelf, we have more fantasy books. We have some Archie Barker, Zack Argyle, Tolkien obviously. We have an Illborn copy again. This one is a bit more special, I'll show you guys. And behind those books, we have my Wheel of Time collection. I'm quite sad that it's hidden, but I don't have any more space. So this copy of Ringlander is quite cool. It's signed and also numbered. So yeah, thank you so much, Mike, for sending me this copy. We Ride the Storm is one of the first books I got from The Broken Binding. It included an art card and also has a signed book plate. Still haven't read it though. But the very first books I bought from The Broken Binding was this trilogy. Still haven't read it, but these three all have signed book plates in it. And then lastly, I have signed copy of Illborn, which was one of my favorite books last year. Definitely check this one out. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys soon.